Hello, my name is Ty Carpenter and I am the board president of Don't Shoot Portland. As the video starts, you can see an overview of the street in front of the PPA building and depicts the movement of the police and protesters along North Lombard Street on the night of June 30th, 2020. Here you can see the video from the balcony of a residence overlooking Lombard and you can see the police pepper spray protesters who are moving as directed. Incident 1 ABC is a street view of the same incident as captured from the balcony. Baton strikes, Continue east on Lombard. Do not... pepper spray, <laughs> and preventing dispersal. It's all on tape, man. Incident 1D, another baton strike. You can see police shooting people with impact munitions, grabbing the banner and then destroying and stealing it. On Lombard. Do not stop. Move east. During incident two, down the street as the crowd is moving east, PPB rolls a grenade into the crowd. It explodes under people who continue to move east. End of two, a person is violently knocked down when the person throws a smoke canister over the line of police. Incident of the bull rush. This shows PPB running at the crowd, making it difficult for those with mobility issues to safely get away without being hit or tackled by police. On incident four, it's dark, but you can see them use grenades and impact munitions on people many feet away, posing no threat. This event has been deemed an unlawful assembly. The video then fast forward to show police shooting at a person multiple times when they appear to bend down to try and pick something up from the ground. CS gas being used to further disperse the crowd is being rained upon at the far edge of the crowd, preventing them from dispersing away from the police without being harmed by the tear gas, including causing the entire crowd to begin choking and coughing during this respiratory pandemic. June 30th provides just a sample of what PPB has done and continues to do since late May.